Babies. Although they are cute, they can be quite demanding and they require a lot of attention. Not everyone likes babies, but the majority of people do. From an evolutionary perspective, this is a good thing, because otherwise we wouldn't be here. One big reason for why the majority of people do like babies has to do with how cute they are. The question is, why is it that we find babies so cute? This question will be addressed in this video. Welcome to Sight. A convincing explanation as to why we find babies so cute was established by the ethologist Conrad Lawrence in 1943. Lawrence argued that the reason why we find infants and babies so cute is because they possess certain physical characteristics that are universally appealing across cultures. These physical characteristics include, for instance, a large head relative to the rest of the body, a round face and chubby cheeks, and big eyes. Lawrence referred to these cute physical characteristics that are typical among infants as a baby schema. The purpose of this baby schema among infants is to motivate caretaking behaviors in other individuals. This is done with the evolutionary function of enhancing offspring survival. Thus, the reason why we find babies so cute is to motivate caregivers to provide care for their babies since the infants can't do that themselves. The cuteness of babies in regards to this baby schema has been examined using neuroimaging techniques. In one study using magnetoencephalography, or MEG, it was found that when adults watch images of the faces of babies, there is a unique response in the medial orbitofrontal cortex after around one-seventh of a second, or 130 milliseconds. This unique neural response was not found when the same adults instead watched images of adult faces. Thus, simply looking at a baby leads to an early specific neural pattern of activity that is specific to viewing infant faces. Given that this brain region is involved in reward behavior, these results are indicative of the saliency of the typical characteristics that are involved in baby schemas. The explanation that the reason why babies are cute is to promote caretaking behaviors in others has received support from various research studies. One study, for instance, from 2009, investigated whether infants with facial features that are congruent with this baby schema are considered more cute than babies with facial features that are less congruent with this baby schema. In other words, the scientists behind this study wanted to experimentally test whether people indeed find babies with round faces, chubby cheeks, and big eyes to be cuter than babies without these facial features. They also wanted to investigate whether the perceived cuteness of these infants promotes caretaking behaviors among the adults. In order to investigate these research questions, the experimenters of this study presented their participants with images of different infants. The infants varied in age between 3 months old and 13 months old. The images of these babies were manipulated in such a way as to either enhance or diminish the infantile facial features that are stereotypical of the baby schema. Thus, each image of a baby had three versions. Some of the images of the babies were completely unmanipulated. The baby's facial features in these images were not altered at all. Other images, however, showed babies in which their baby schema features were enhanced. In other words, their face was made rounder, their eyes were made bigger, and their nose and mouth were made smaller. In the third version of images, the baby schema features were diminished. Their faces were made more narrow, their eyes were made smaller, and their nose and mouth were made bigger. After viewing these images, some of the participants were asked to rate the cuteness of each infant. This was done on a scale of 1 to 5. Other participants were instead asked to rate the extent of their motivation to take care of the infant in the picture. The results of the study showed that the participants on average gave the highest ratings of cuteness to the infants in images where the baby schema features were enhanced. They also gave the lowest ratings of cuteness to images of infants where the baby schema features were diminished. Furthermore, Participants also give higher ratings to the question of how motivated they are to take care of the baby when viewing images in which the baby schema features were enhanced. 
The lowest ratings, just like with cuteness, were given to images of babies in which the baby schema features were diminished. Thus, the results of this study show that people indeed find babies with facial features that are more congruent with the baby schema to be cuter. In turn, cuteness was also shown to motivate caretaking behaviors among adults. These results support the notion that the reason why babies are perceived as cute is because it motivates adults to want to take care of them. Interestingly, however, this baby schema that is present in human infants seem to also be present in other animals. Puppies and kittens, for example, also display these typical facial characteristics such as a round face and big eyes. This may in part explain why we find other animals, especially their offspring, to be so cute. It may also serve as a potential explanation as to why humans like to keep other animals as our pets. The nurturing instincts that are elicited by cuteness in our own infants may spill over, quote-unquote, to other animals as well. If you want to learn more about why we humans like to keep other animals as our pets, make sure to check out the video we made on this topic. The link to that video will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.